my dear brothers and sisters when you are in pain when you are in sickness the more you are pain the more seriously sincerely you pray we read like this in the word of god gospel of matthew chapter 26 verse 36 onwards matthew chapter 26 verse 36 onwards then jesus went with them to a place called gethsemane and he said to his disciples sit here while i go over there and pray he took with him peter and the two sons of zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated verse 38 Then he said to them I am deeply grieved even to death remain here and stay awake with me my dear brothers and sisters sometimes certain grief and pain and sorrow is so bad that they even prefer to die than go through going through that sorrow during the covid time people some people were committing suicide because of the fear of covid so i used to wonder it is better to be to get the covid and die than committing sin then why are you, why are they committing sorry committing suicide so why are why do they commit suicide instead of wait and see whether they are dying through the covid or not in case if they get covid and did not die then all their worries will be wasted so but i when i asked one person who was going through a terrible fear and tension and he was almost at the verge of committing suicide because of this tension he said father you won't understand what i have gone through i said you you never, you did not get the covid but you were you were worried so badly and even thought of committing suicide then he said father that sorrow the fear the tension the stress and anxiety which i was going through sleepless nights you will not understand how i went through i many times i prefer to commit suicide than going through that situation there are so many people because of their sicknesses terrible sicknesses they commit suicide we feel why can't they wait and see the result of their sicknesses maybe they may be healed completely so why do they commit suicide because that pain and sorrow and stress is so bad that's what these people say so today in this bible passage jesus said i am deeply grieved even to death it one way it shows you know he jesus even even he felt that his this grief is so bad that he can end up in death so jesus said remain here and stay awake and pray for me pray with me i'm deeply grieved unimaginable pain and sorrow or stress anxiety which jesus also went through because he must have already foreseen the passion which he is going to experience the next day and we also read because for luke chapter 22 verse 43 luke chapter 22 verse 43 after this grief then an angel from heaven appeared to him gave him strength because jesus was praying sincerely an angel from heaven appeared to him gave him strength sometimes healing may not take place but strength will be given to us to go through this pain go through that fear go through that sickness the lord gives us strength it may take some time to get healed but god will give you the strength i remember i went through the sickness for a long time and god strengthened me instead of healing me of course he healed me at the end but it was a long time of suffering So then an angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him gave him strength and was 44 we read like this in his anguish he prayed more earnestly it is very important in his anguish he prayed more earnestly when there is anguish stress and confusion and tension and fear pray more earnestly when jesus in his anguish he prayed more earnestly 
he prayed in such a way that his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground pray unceasingly pray earnestly with pain in your heart surrender everything and cry out to god the lord will listen to your cries he will never disappoint you my dear brothers and sisters he will heal you